boy. No dozing. Hey guys, Nathan here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are unboxing DC Universe Online Collector's Edition for the PS3 in 2021. Now, this, I kind of got really lucky on as far as how I got this item. Um, these were actually very limited as far as, you know, how many were sold because let me give you guys a brief history, right? So DC Universe Online has been around for a while now and um, it originally came out on the PS3 um, and back then it was popular, but it's not nearly as popular as it was. I mean, as it is today, it wasn't anyways. So um, there were a couple different collector's editions, like with different statues. This one is a Batman one, as you guys can see um, right there. I don't know if the glare is kind of showing it or not, but this is the Batman one. I think there was a Superman one, a Black Canary one, and a couple other different ones. I think there was a Catwoman one too, but uh, this is this was actually sealed if you guys can see that and I do apologize if the glare is kind of doing it I I, I didn't really uh, Approach this camera angle all that well, but um, this is actually a sealed copy It's been sitting in somebody's closet for like years now 2011 is when this came out um, And yeah, so this thing I mean, you know, these usually go sealed for like a hundred something dollars, but um, He had it listed for like 50 and I think I talked him down to like 45 or 40 but I got a ridiculously good deal on this thing. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know I like opening um, older kind of like historical pieces of gaming, um, like discontinued stuff. Like I did that video on unboxing the Game Boy games. But anyways, let's have a look around the box. I'm a huge DC Universe fan. Um, but yeah, this has been basically sitting in this closet. As you guys can see, it's kind of dusty. And once again, I'm kind of looking on my Apple Watch, if you guys can see, just trying to figure out if it's in frame. It's really dusty. There's a fine layer of dust on it because it's been sitting in the closet for so long. Nothing on this side. We got the back right here. If you guys can see, we have the Batman statue. Uh, DC Legends issue number zero. Um, what is this? Uh, a showcase of behind the scenes of amazing game art. Okay, so that's like an art book. You have two different pieces of in-game gear, unfortunately. Um, the codes probably don't work anymore and it's the PS3 version. Um, but you have the Joker flying gesture and the bat drone. I don't even know if these things are like still available in the current version of the game, but they are there. And you have DC, uh, a DC universe online poster and also a, uh, prestige comic. Now this is a pretty cool collector's edition. I honestly don't remember how much it went for back in the day, but yeah, there's a look at the bottom. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh man, this, this right here. History in the making, guys. History in the making. Uh, it kind of pains me, not going to lie, but I want this in my collection. I'm not selling this. Um, and, yeah. What is this? Ten years ago, this thing released. Ten years of history being unsealed right now. Especially the fact that this is such a rare item nowadays. I mean, sure, the Game Boy thing was kind of crazy, but, like, at least you can still find... Uh, Game Boy games. This thing, you know, <laughs> they didn't sell nearly as well as the Game Boy games did. So, you know, and I'm going to try to be very careful because in my previous unboxings, I ended up ripping a couple of boxes. So, oh, that's what I meant. Ah! Guys, I got to be careful. Okay, there we go. So, it looks like, let me throw this plastic side. It looks like there's like a little cover sort of thing. Okay, yes. So there is what the actual thing looks like. Here's the cover. We'll set that aside. Actually, let me put this down on the ground. So here is the box. Can you guys see that? Hope you guys can see that. There's nothing else actually on it anywhere. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and open it. it. Looks like you open it from this side. Oh, it's magnetic. Fancy. Okay, so you have the Batman figure. Uh, let's go ahead and pull that out. Um, I'm actually not going to pull out the plastic because I'm not planning on like displaying this. It's going to actually be displayed in the box, but it's very detailed. Look at look at that. Can you guys see that? It's a really, really nice figure. Um, but yeah, you got like uh, the thing he sits on the thing brooding across the city or over the city. Um, and that's the number. I can't, let me see if I can see what that says which number this is um i'm not sure but i know like the black canary one that says like so many of so many uh made but yeah pretty cool you got the little bricks right there so there's that put that down right there 
Now, let's pull this back and let's see what else is in here. Ooh, goodies. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Whoa, goodness. Uh, yeah, guys. I'm just not in the right state of mind today. But anyways, look at this. Isn't that throwback? I just bent a little paper. I don't know. But guys, PSP. PSP! Ugh, I love the PSP so much. But yeah, it looks like there's other, like, um... Uh, bits and pieces of comics that came out during the time. Do you guys remember digital comics on PSP? I remember that. It's kind of wild. Here's a quick start guide for the game. Um, we have the actual game itself. Unfor Dude, I was really hoping that this would come in like a proper case. Like, I can't display this. Ugh. But yeah, so that is really cool. I love the artwork, man. Uh, there you go. There's the Joker, the Batman, Superman, Lex Luthor. Um, and the disc is in here. Let's pull that out. Let's see it. Let's see it. There we go. DC Universe Online. Man, this would have been such a cool thing to unbox back in the day. <laughs> um, here's the game codes. <laughs> no point in me even covering it. It's probably expired by now. So there's that. You know what? I'm actually going to try to put this into PSN on my PS3 just to see what pops up. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Is it expired? Um, oh, you can actually redeem this on your PSP. Interesting. From back in the day. Open claim. Window in game. Okay. Uh, but let's just have like a little skim. Okay, it shows you a little bit of the social aspects, the marketplace, stuff like that. A lot of that stuff is still very much valid in today's modern version of the game. Right here, limited edition statues. Yeah, so these, I'm guessing, were sold separately. Oh, 2010, wow, I was wrong, not 2011. Um, play the game, collect them all. Nice, they got Green Arrow. Green Arrow doesn't get as much recognition. Do you guys know, fun fact, Batman actually has a contingency plan for every one of the Justice League except Green Arrow because of the trust he has for Oliver Queen. So just a fun fact, I love Oliver Queen. Great superhero, him and Batman, two of my, two of my favorites in the DC Universe. Um, but yeah, we got that. We got a buddy card. Okay, this is really cool. They used to do this a lot back in the day. Um, when you got a game or something, they would give you a buddy pass where your friend could actually play with you for like a trial period. This is 10 days. So once again, I might just type this in just to see what happens. Uh, once your friend has the DVD loaded in their PC. Wait, wait, what? Huh, okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, so they, I'm guessing they would download it off the, the thing? I don't know. I'm guessing this is before it went to free to play. But, and here's the DC Legends comic. It's kind of smaller than I expected. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge comic head and I have like hundreds and hundreds of comics. And this is not a normal size comic. Look at that artwork though. It's really cool. Um, but yes, who is that? Who is that? I, 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 I could just be uh, derping right now, but. We got Cyborg, Hawkman, I think that's his name. Who's that? Guys, I haven't been, even though I collect a lot of comics, I just don't have a lot of time to keep up with them. But yeah, here's a little sneak peek at what's going on here. But yeah, basically just a little glimpse of like, just a little gist if you guys haven't played DC Universe Online and you guys want to give it a try. It's basically about um, Brainiac uh, destroying the Justice League and like Lex Luthor is like the only one that survives and he goes back into the past to warn these guys and then there's like exobytes which is like brainiac's technology and it infects people and it turns them into heroes and villains and blah 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 that's how you change the future anyways okay so there's that and here is the poster let me see if i can get it out without breaking it oh that's not looking good it's gonna bend it's gonna bend it's gonna bend it's gonna bend Okay. Oh, there's actually a full-size freaking comic in there. I was wrong. Okay, so here's a poster. This cool. Basically the same artwork. Um, yeah, same artwork. Now inside. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, black and white. Really nice. Really nice. But yeah, so there's the poster. And lastly, we have the comic. Why they jam it so deep in here, man? It's like kind of a pain in the ass to. Don't want to, don't want to do that. All right. Oh, there's actually more than one. Hold on, let me get them all out. This is an art book. Is this an art book. Frick. Okay, I, I, I scratched it, guys. 
That's what I was talking about. Okay, let's look at the art book first. This is really cool. We got more of the art. Batman on the back. Okay. Uh, some of this stuff is like really throwback to like, the, some of this stuff doesn't even look like this anymore in the game. Um, but yeah, like the Batman pages, the character bios, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman. Uh, oh, once again, Oliver Queen, nice. Power Girl, uh, Lex Luthor. Luther? Luthor? Some people say Luthor. I used to say Luther, but then I started saying Luthor because that's how they pronounce it in the game. Um, Catwoman, Bane, Mr. Freeze. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of like the Batman animated series Mr. Freeze, but rather like Batman 2004 Mr. Freeze. Uh, Bizarro. That's an interesting take on Bizarro. But yeah, you guys basically get the gist of things right there. Um, yeah. Now let's actually look at the proper full-size comic right here. Did, did I? No, I didn't even show this. So Black Adam and... Or is that Shazam? Or aren't they the same thing? Um, and Green Lantern. So we got Batman chilling. If you guys know, these are like scenes from the intro cutscene. Um, yeah, so you got Slade, you got Joker. Yeah, this is literally the intro cutscene. If you guys played it, um, you guys already know what takes place. But yeah, and then Brainiac shows up and Lex Luthor is the only survivor. Pretty much it, guys. So that is the um, DC Universe Online Collector's Edition. Um, I am extremely happy to have picked this up. And, you know, it, it was just a super lucky find. You know, it's one of those finds that comes around once in a very long time and chances are um it, well here's the thing if i ever do get a chance to pick up the other editions even if it's not sealed i will do my very best to because i really do want um every single one of these um versions of the collector's edition but yeah there is that um a couple more unboxings coming to you guys pretty soon i actually picked up even though it's kind of like irrelevant now but like um the hogwarts library spell book for the ps3 the playstation move i actually picked that up uh, from half price books for like eight dollars and it's like new and still sealed so yeah there is that here is the dc universe online collector's edition unboxing for ps3 hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did leave a like down below subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one